is Black Series Edition LLC with Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I gotta update all this in here because this is what do they have as a paint? I don't think it has a paint. Is a paint? Oh, it's a screen paint. Yeah, all this is gonna have to be updated. This has to be removed. Anyway, um I don't know yet because it's raining outside. If they're coming down, if they don't they are coming down or not, they, they might be coming down, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, if they do, I'm going to be on site today. Um, I'm going to be uh, designing a 150 inch screen uh, acoustic, of course, we're not going to be using the acoustic part. And this is going to be a 150 inch screen and I have to use a build a frame that's going to have to be able to collapse because it has to be able to be moved. This screen will come down and come up at times. One of the screens I'm doing for the installment. I'm curious what it looks like in there now because they were doing all this work, drywalling and everything, getting everything ready. So I'll be walking in today, if not tomorrow, because right now we are having a bit of some rain. I think it's what's coming in from Florida, but usually they're punctual. They said they're coming down, they're coming down. So chances are I will be on site today. But anyway, uh, this is going to be an interesting frame because, like I said, this frame has to be able to collapse, it has to be able to fold in half. Um, I've done these before, but not at 150 inches, but it should be pretty easy to do. We're not stapling this to the frame. This is basically going to be using a grommet setup. So basically the um, screen can be removed. It has to be completely portable. You should get some handles with this too. Uh, yeah, I get some handles with this. But anyway, I already have the frame built. I built one of them down there for 150 inch, but because it's going to be a grommet setting, it has to be a little bigger than the actual screen so i'm going to have to expand the size of the screen oh uh, yeah i'm thinking about all the stuff i need to do this i'm going to, have to need l i need l brackets we got l brackets i need the straight brackets to do it to extend the screen because i have to expand the size of the screen we got enough wood to do that and then i have to be able to have it so we can fold the screen in half so we're going to need um what do you call those the hinges we need hinges so the screen can actually fold out Put the grommets on. Yeah, that's how it's gonna have to be done. We did the hinges from the back. We did the hinges from the back. When the screen pushes out, it'll lock out. This is, I'm thinking of it already in my head how to do it. So this will make it portable because they want a 150 inch fish tank display, but they want it so it can be collapsed and you can take it down and move it from A to B. This is where people, when you saw me downstairs in the other place, covered in sawdust all day long, building screens, building frames, all that stuff. This is why it's important to know how to build this up because you never know when you walk into an area where they're gonna say, hey, we don't even know how to do this. We don't know where to start, where to begin. Can you help us put this thing together? And you have to know exactly what you're doing. So this thing has to be portable. It has to be to take it down. So it can't be stapled to the frame. That's virtually impossible. So it has grommets so it'll be easy to connect. And we're gonna use the dedicated black Cinemax to coat the uh, screen. So I'll be showing that today. All right, so I don't have time to talk. It depends on, like I said, we have a real rainy, a lot of rain out there, but then again, I've been back and forth from the rain over there. So we're, um, Hopefully we get down to the day and get this taken care of, get everything done for them, get videos of it, and then that's it. It should take no time at all to do it, to put the whole thing together. I'd say probably about two hours for me to knock it out, probably less than that. Just give myself a little bit more time. Other than that, like I said, easy McCheesy. Uh, projectors we're going to be using for it is going to be a Chrissy LW400. Yeah, that's one of the projectors I advised them to get. It's a 720p projector. It's more all they need. The technology doesn't require expensive machines, so they save a lot of money doing it. The surface we got from Amazon that cost me 50 bucks, um, and uh, the wood yeah, wood strips are like two bucks a pop. That's it. It's gonna make an incredible looking fish tank. It's gonna cost them next to nothing. This is what I mean by saving money. If you're using, and I'll take a gray sample sheet with me just to show you. If you're using a um, uh, gray or white screen. This is going to cost you more money. We walked in there with the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint product. We coat that surface in there. They're going to have to change that environment because you can't have too much light in there because the screen's not going to pull. So that's going to be a problem. Add 150 inches of big screen. 
contrast, we are not going to be the pickup. So we're going to have to fake that. So we're going to have to bring in a projector that has a very high contrast level, which I'm going to have to convince the owners to spend a couple of thousand dollars for a projector that they can. Yeah. So. That's going to be a problem. That's not going to be a problem, but that would be a problem for us if we're doing digital with crystal screen paint. Imagine if we have someone who already has a grace set up in there. We could basically take that job from you. I'm not trying to be rude, but we actually can. I can walk in there and move their projector out of the way and say, look, you don't even need this 1080p projector. Mind you, we've done demonstrations of 1080p versus 720p on our product, 4K versus 720p on our product. So we can walk in and take a projector and say, look, you don't need this. You spent too much money. There's a 720p projector. This will work just as fine. We'll put them side by side. We already know what the reaction is going to be. And then paint that technology and then push an image through. Yeah. That's an easy kickball. I've seen some companies, but some some um, the restaurants in that area who have these uh, gray screens set up with a projector that's way too much money. I mean, they're looking at the projector like, well, I paid all this money for this thing. Too much. Way too much money. They just paid for it. But anyway, basically about it. I'm going to get on site. Got to get things. Got to get done. I got to get out of here. Thank you for your time. And God bless. I got to remove this. This has to be updated. That definitely has to be updated. So that's what I'll be doing later on when I come back. Got to go and God bless.